In its 17th year, the PricewaterhouseCoopers, in collaboration with the Provo Golf Club, saw another successful amateur open, which saw 76 golfers competing from England, Canada, the United States, the Bahamas, and the Turks and Caicos Islands. The international event, which is a two-day tournament, consisted of eight men's flights and three women's flights for the highly competitive 36-hole stroke play format held at the Golf Club's golf course. Well-known Provo amateur golfer J.P. Shinnock captured the overall championship by outlasting Ken Gugosh of Canada. The two golfers were tied at 33 holes of play. Shinnock won by outlasting all the competition with a first-day score of 75 and a Sunday low score of 74 for the two-day winning total of 149. Carol Brown won the ladies' championship by shooting excellent rounds of 83 and 88 for a five-shot victory over Dorothy Troka. Many of the flights were extremely competitive in this national amateur championship, with one of the flights needing a sudden death playoff to determine the champion. Joseph Connolly of Price Waterhouse Cooper spoke on the 17th annual tournament and its success. Yes, yeah, so well, we just uh, finished the last, the uh, 17th annual Price Waterhouse Cooper's Amateur Open. Uh, we were lucky enough to have a lot of guests from overseas, the Bahamas, Canada, uh, the U.S., England. Uh, we had two days of. Um, fun in the sun and I think uh, I think everybody's enjoyed themselves so uh, the amateur champion uh, of the ladies was uh, 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 Carol Brown and the amateur champion of the men's was JP Sinonic so uh, uh, it was a good event and hopefully we'll have a, a good turnout for next year. In other sports news, Team TCI and the TCI delegation returned this afternoon after attending the 2010 Commonwealth Games in New Delhi, India. President of the TCI Commonwealth Games Association, Rita Gardner, described the experience for Team TCI. Well, for me, um, I was very proud of our athletes, Team TCI. Um, they have done a splendid job just participating and given the opportunity to participate in the Commonwealth Games. These athletes should be proud. It was not only about the, um, the participation, but also about meeting different persons from different cultures and um, just the camaraderie. I think the athletes can say they have had a great time on and off the track. So I am really proud of them. They did what they, they went to do. And um, Team TCI, they could only move up from here. Track and field coach for Team TCI, Donovan Garvey, commented on the performance of the track and field athletes and the jumpers. Um, as a coach for the track and field team, I'm ecstatic because um, after we ran in our prelims and we didn't make the second round, we went and checked at the times and we realized that was the fastest time Turks and Caicos has run in the past 12 years. In fact, um, the fastest time we have had recorded by the IAAF is 42.02 and we ran 41.99. So this is the fastest time recorded by the IAAF for us. Two jumpers really did carry the, the, the flag for us. Um, Kevano twisted his ankle in the second round and came close to his PR. Um, in the, this being a, a senior meet, they're not accustomed to the increment. The increment at the junior level, the bar goes up at three centimeters. At the senior level, it goes up at five, five centimeters and sometimes seven centimeters just to eliminate. And that is what got them out early. And weightlifter Michael Francois talked about his performance at the Games. I had four days of training and I went out there to the Commonwealth Games and I did my best. I think the experience was great because we had a chance to see you know, what we up against. And I think next time if I keep in the gym and continue, get my techniques properly, I, we should be able to come back and win something next year, next four years. The Games spanned over a 10-day period where 71 countries competed in 17 sporting disciplines. Team TCI participated in two, track and field and weightlifting. Team TCI did not medal at the Games but did realize their weaknesses and their strengths during the course of the competition and have a lot of time to improve them for the 2014 Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, England. Overall, the TCI Commonwealth Games Association said it was a great experience for all the athletes and dubbed the Games a successful venture. For WIV4 Sports, I'm Tian Thomas.